Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Namaste. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How is everybody? Good morning, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's a bright Monday morning. Anybody having Monday blues? Like people used to have Monday blues, no? Earlier. चक्र हिलिंग वर्कशॉप टूडे सो we will uh, try and complete our rituals uh, like 5 minutes before 6 so that we can get into that program after this okay so let's begin okay everybody gently close your eyes and bring yourself into the present moment the most beautiful moment of our life okay so gently close your eyes take a few deep long breaths when you inhale inhale completely when you exhale exhale completely okay and then just pay attention to your breathing become completely aware of your breath become aware of what is going on around you inside you and as you become aware of all of this you feel the presence of the almighty the presence of source energy in everything everything inside you and everything outside you you feel the interconnectedness deeply connected with the entire universe there is one energy which runs through everything which intertwines and binds the entire universe together and as you become aware of this energy you become one with the energy and now as you are completely into the present moment let us make the best use of the present moment by doing some cleansing work so to today being monday let us focus on the area of health slowly open your eyes and let us start tapping on the karate chop point let's tap 35 times when you tap 35 times you rule out the possibility of what is known as the psychological reversal your mind and body are completely ready for releasing negativity and increasing positivity so sometimes when the mind is not ready you know whatever amount of positivity you do it will not accept it that is known as psychological reversal so when you tap your 35 times what has been observed is that psychological reversal is removed okay so that's the purpose of tapping on the karate chop point for 35 times now 
focus all your attention on the area of health. So before closing your eyes, when you look at the area of health, you have to look at your physical health, which means you have to pay attention to your body. Are there any pains anywhere? Are there any organs which are not functioning properly? Maybe the digestive system, you feel that there's so many, lot of problems connected with the stomach. Maybe there are a lot of problems connected with the throat, ear, nose, throat. Maybe there's, you know, connection with the eyes. So if there is any problem in any area of your body, you need to focus on that. You know, the power of tapping is that whatever your mind focuses on and then you tap on these points, the energy which is blocked in that region is opened. That is the purpose of focusing on the negative. Unless you don't focus on the negative, the negative is not released. So people keep asking me, sir, why are you asking us to focus on the negatives? But you are focusing on the negative only for a few minutes, like one or two minutes. If there is no junk sitting inside, it's not going to come out. But if there is stuff sitting inside, then it will come out. Okay. So everybody focus on your physical health, then follow it up with the mental, emotional and spiritual health. Just pay attention to your physical health. Are there any challenges going on right now? It could be that there is lack of energy. Pay attention to those areas and just keep tapping. If there's any areas where there's a lot of pain, you can just focus on that area. Put your attention completely on that and then tap. Try to identify the feeling. What do you feel when you are experiencing the pain or the problem? You can even speak it out if you want to. बहुत दर्द होता है, बहुत तकलीफ होती है, पता नहीं क्या करूँ, समझ में नहीं आता. You can speak it out while you're tapping. Remember, health is the most important component of your life. Number one priority. Very gentle tapping. You don't need to bang on the points. Huh? Very slow and very soft. After two or three rounds, then you can focus on your mental health.
the time of tapping, you may feel a tingling sensation, which means the channels in that region is starting to open up. You may feel like yawning, you may feel like burping, all this is very normal. Okay, wonderful. Start focusing on your mental health now. Are you able to sleep well? Do you get worried very quickly? about something in your house or your business? Do you get upset, angry, sad? Are you able to think clearly? Is there overthinking happening? Focus on your mental health. What's going on? If during the day you feel that the mind is getting disturbed, then focus on that. And think about that. I'm getting disturbed during the day. This happens, that happens. And tap on that. Because mind and emotions are very closely connected. Also focus, are there certain emotions that you experience more? Maybe the feeling of anger, the feeling of fear, a lot of fear inside. Maybe anxiety. Maybe the feeling of unworthiness or hopelessness, helplessness. Are there any such feelings which keep coming? What are these feelings trying to tell you? Let's do two more rounds of tapping. Very gentle, very subtle tapping. Focus on your life. What's going on? What is the dominant emotion that you're ex experiencing throughout the day? Sabse jada emotion kaun sa aata hai aapko? Is it the feeling of lack of support, lack of love, feeling unloved, feeling unappreciated? 
किसी को मेरी पड़ी नहीं है किसी को कदर नहीं है वॉट्स द फीलिंग Let's take one last round. Do deep reflection on your life and think about your health. So, be five bajay se jada acha samay koi nahi. Itni shanti hai. ध्यान से सोचिए क्या हो रहा है आपके हेल्थ के एरिया में इज योर सोल हैप्पी क्या आपकी आत्मा खुश है Remember your body and your mind are the two most powerful resources that God has given you. And the fitness of both these resources are extremely critical for success and happiness. Once you finish this round, let's take three deep breaths. Breathe in from the nose, exhale from the mouth. Then just keep your eyes closed for a few moments. And experience the complete stillness in your mind. Absolute stillness. And then when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes, have some water. And then let us express our deepest gratitude to our body and our mind. Okay? So today you're going to express your deepest gratitude to your body as well as your mind. Would we be able to do anything without these two things? Imagine a situation <laughs> where there's no body. That means we are like a floating soul. So the very fact that we have a body is that we are able to experience this world, right? So let's take seven minutes to express our deepest gratitude. You can express gratitude to every single part of your body. Every part is important. Every cell of the body is important. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
at the end of every statement, write thank you three times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then pause for a few seconds to feel the gratitude. Okay. Be grateful to every single part of your body. For example, thank you God for my eyes so that I can see this beautiful world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that way express gratitude for every single part of your body. Let's take one more minute.
Let's finish up. At times we just complain so much about problems in our body. But when we look at other people, we see that we are actually far more blessed, isn't it? So gently close your eyes and just feel the gratitude for your body, for your mind. The very fact that you're able to sit on this Zoom session indicates that you have a certain level of health. May not be 100%, but otherwise you wouldn't be able to attend the session, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you, dear God, for this wonderful body, for my health, for my mind, which is able to think so wonderfully. It has infinite creativity. It gives me the ability to connect with God. Imagine if the mind was not there, how would we even do anything? So feel the deep gratitude towards your body, towards your mind, towards your good health. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be grateful to every single organ, every single system which is operating in the body, every single cell which is doing what it is supposed to do. There are more than 50 trillion cells and each cell is functioning. For example, the cell of the liver does the functioning of the liver. The cells which are there in the heart their functions are different. The cells which are in your eyes are different. Imagine how every single cell of the body is doing its work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now let us express our forgiveness, seek forgiveness. Actually, today let us seek forgiveness from our body and our mind. Sometimes we just do so many wrong things, eat the wrong food, we don't take care of it, we don't exercise. We keep thinking the wrong things, you know. So let us seek forgiveness from God. Dear God, I'm sorry for not taking care of my body the way I should. Seek forgiveness from your body. That I'm sorry that I may have hurt you knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly. Seek forgiveness from your mind. That dear mind, I'm sorry that I have not been able to take adequate care. Of course, now I'm doing the rituals. So I'm, I promise that I will take care of my body and my mind. That I will not feed it with the wrong foods. I will not feed it with the wrong thoughts. Please forgive me. And also let us seek forgiveness from God. Dear God, if I have hurt anybody knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly in this life or any of my past lives, if I have hurt any soul knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly in this life or any of my previous lives through my thoughts, words or deeds, then please forgive me. Please forgive me and release me from those karmas. And God is very, very kind if you genuinely and deeply seek forgiveness from the bottom of your heart. God is nothing else but kindness, pure love. So visualize the beautiful, unconditional love of God falling on all of us like a beautiful, 
What a fall. I'm requesting the creator to send his unconditional love and send it through every single cell of all our bodies. Dear God, please send your unconditional love through every single cell of all the participants of this workshop and also to all the people on the healing list. Please send your unconditional love through every single cell. Visualize this beautiful unconditional love falling on all of us like a beautiful shower. Entering the body from the crown chakra. Filling up all the 50 plus trillion cells with the beautiful unconditional love of the creator. Passing through every single cell like a river of healing. Feel that this unconditional love is reaching out to all the parts and all the organs which need healing. And that as this love is passing through those organs and the cells, they are getting instantly healed and changing to perfect physical health. Feel that beautiful energy running through every single cell of your body. And you have to be deeply grateful to God for His kindness, for His unconditional love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a moment to connect with the Creator just by simply focusing on your breath. Pay close attention to your breath. You can actually sense an entire universe within you. And you may transport yourself to one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. And feel the presence of source in everything. The greenery, the mountains, the rivers, the lakes, the waterfalls, the birds, the clouds, the rising sun the sand or the mud or the earth below your feet. Feel the presence and the interconnectedness with this infinite intelligence. And now visualize in your mind what you wish to create As you witness what you want to create in your life, the source energy takes that form. To witness your perfect health. What is the meaning of witnessing? It is visualizing, you're seeing in your mind.
hold the picture of your perfect health. Feel the energy and enthusiasm and the strength and the resilience and the flexibility in your body. And the calmness and the peacefulness in your mind. Complete control on your emotions. Smile on your face. And a radiant and a vibrant face projecting the energy of source. Wherever you go, you're radiating the love and compassion of the source to everybody around you. Visualize your relationships. And see the joy and happiness on everybody's face. See the bonding and the mutual love and respect for one another. Mutual admiration. The unconditional love. Feel that harmony in your house. Can I request the creator to send love, joy, peace and harmony into your homes? Please say yes if you wish to. Creator of all that is, it is requested that the energies of love, joy, peace, happiness, harmony and unconditional love be sent through every single atom of all the homes of all the participants of this workshop who have said yes. And this be done in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me. Witnessing the integrated light of all of these emotions coming from the creator. Falling on your homes like a beautiful waterfall. Filling up your entire home, every single atom of your home is filled with the energies of love, joy, peace, happiness, unconditional love and harmony. And that the people in the house are experiencing these feelings and emotions. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Take a moment to visualize your work. That in your work, you are able to create the level of success you want. Day by day, your clients are increasing. Lucrative opportunities are coming to you. You are achieving your revenue goals, your targets. You are reaching out to more and more customers, making a bigger difference through your products and services. And you're achieving your numbers, your goals, your targets, whatever it is. And all of that is happening easily and effortlessly. And see the impact that your work is creating, whatever work you're doing. It is making a huge difference to people's lives. Whatever product, whatever service, whatever you're doing is making a difference to your customer's life. Anybody who you are serving is your customer. So for example, if a homemaker is serving people at home, those are your customers. See that whatever you're doing is making such a big difference to people. If you are a CEO, then you are serving your company, your employees, your 
your vendors, your customers, and as a result of what you are adding value to people's lives, the universe responds by sending an abundance into your life. What you give out is what you get back. When you give value, you receive value. So you see all the resources flowing into your life in abundance. Money, joy, happiness, peace, love, time, comfort. Everything you want is flowing into your life in abundance. And see that you are completely open to receive all this. There are no mental barriers and things which are stopping these things from coming. All of those barriers are broken and you are completely ready to receive all the beautiful abundance into your life. And this abundance, the money, <clears throat> the resources which are coming into your life are enabling you to fulfill all your dreams, your family's dreams, all the possessions or the things you wanted. You have been able to bring all those things into your life. See the joy and happiness on your family's faces. By bringing all these resources, you are bringing joy to your family. So you are serving them. And this is enabling you to reach out to more and more people and serve them. Make a difference. And you're deeply grateful to God for this wonderful, amazing life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a moment to pray for all the people first on the praying list. These are all known people. These are in your friends, family, circles. So dear God, please send them your healing. Please send them your unconditional love. Creator of all that is, it is requested that unconditional love is sent to all the people on the global healing list. And that this unconditional love is flowing through every single cell of their body and healing them completely. Thank you, it is done, it is done, it is done. Send out this healing energy from your the center of your chest unconditional love flowing from your hearts to all these people on the global list, to your friends, to your family members, to the known people, and then send it out to all those people on the planet who need it right now. Then, dear God, please help them. Please heal them. Send them your healing energies. And we are also sending our healing energies and love. See that all of them are receiving this unconditional love and healing and getting absolutely fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a moment. We're going to do a theta download. The download for today is I am calm. I life, allow life to be easy. I enjoy my life and I am thankful. Can I download these programs for all of you? Say yes if you wish to download. Creator of all that is, it is requested to download the programs. I am calm. I love life to be easy. I enjoy my life and I am thankful that these programs are downloaded from the seventh plane and instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels for all the participants of this workshop who have said yes, and this be done in the highest and the best way. Thank you, it is done, it is done, it is done. Please show me. 
witnessing the energy of these programs coming from the seventh plane, falling on all of us like a beautiful waterfall. Entering the body from the crown chakra, filling up every single cell of the body with the programs. I am calm. I allow life to be easy. I enjoy my life and I am thankful. And these, this energy is also passing through all the belief levels. And it is now integrated into every single cell of the body. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold a thought in your mind of creating a beautiful shield around you. And with an intention, say the word shield. And now create a beautiful shield around you. The beautiful white light with the mirror on the outside surface. Shield your loved ones. Just hold a thought of all your family members and create a shield. Hold a thought of all your valuables, your home, your office, your car, your valuables. Say the word shield. Visualize planet Earth and say the word shield and visualize the shield around planet Earth. Beautiful shield protecting our beautiful planet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now bring yourself into the present moment, the most beautiful moment of this day. Notice the virtual classroom in which all of us are sitting together, 177 beautiful souls doing their morning rituals together, aligning their minds, aligning their minds to their goals, cleansing the mind, filling it up with all the energy and enthusiasm to get ready for the day. And as you become aware of this moment, you can rub your hands, place them on your eyes, And when you're ready, slowly take your palms away from your eyes with a blink, open your eyes. Look at your palms and make a wish for the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste to each one of you. And put your fist out in the air and say yes. Today is the best day of my life. Something amazing is going to happen. Miracles are on its way. <laughs> I'm open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. Say once again, yes. You're going to go out and make it happen. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Give a nice hug to yourself. Beautiful hug to yourself. Give a nice hug to all your family members. Wonderful. So we're going to take a minute to just understand one beautiful thing. So in your exercise, I would ask all of you to try a beautiful technique which I use. It's called slow jogging. There's a book by a Japanese running coach. <clears throat> His name is Hiroaki Tanaka, slow jogging. So basically, slow jogging is a means of doing exercise in a very slow manner. Okay, So it is popularized by a Japanese running coach. His name is Hiroaki Tanaka. It's a form of running that involves jogging at a very slow pace. Aram se jog karna, like very slowly, 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 slowly. So what happens with this is you can improve your fitness without putting excessive strain on your body. You don't need to put so much strain on your body in order to be fit. Now, the most beautiful thing is because of this, people of any age can do it without, you know, without harming their legs and their knees and all of that. Anybody of any fitness level, suppose our fitness is a little less, then we can do it. 
It prevents all kinds of injuries when you run at a le leisurely, comfortable pace. You're less likely to enjoy yourself. When you do very hard jogging, it can actually put a lot of pressure on your knees and all of that. It will boost your performance, build endurance, and it will make your metabolism more and more efficient. Okay, And you will have more fun. So today's challenge is try slow jogging. And send a picture of yourself in a guard. I've never seen anybody exercising. So I don't know whether you guys are exercising or not. Take your mobile phones out and send a picture of you doing exercise. Okay. And today, one more challenge is spend 10 minutes tapping on the area of health. Like what we did in the beginning. 10 minutes or nikali aaj, tapping kari apne health ke upar. And report on the group. Okay. So with that, my dear friends, we're going to end this day. Uh, Make the best out of this day. I'm just going to unmute everybody. Say goodbyes to everybody. Thank you so yeah, much, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir